Hey everyone, I'm Nicole Seidman with StarsEntertainment.com here at the Boulevard Hotel in Hollywood, California with the very handsome and beautifully haired Francois Arnaud. <laughs> How are you? There's a lot of hair. Uh, yeah, I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm very good. There is a lot of hair and it's looking very good. Thank you. Yes. All right, well, season two premieres yeah, April, April 8th. 8th. Yeah. Yes. So are you excited? Yeah. Yeah, I am. I haven't seen it at all. I really want to see it myself. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the season a little bit. Can you tell us anything that we'll be seeing, what to expect? Yeah, it's really full of action. My character really comes of age and is even more of a religious badass. And uh, <laughs> Fill us in a little bit on where season one left off and where season two is going to pick up and some stuff that's yeah. going to go on. Season season one ended uh, as the French king was really really mad at the Pope, and uh, he wants he he kind of wants revenge and for, for 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 because we sent him to Naples and there was a plague and it was just awful, and um and and I think in season two also you see a lot more of the rivalry between the two brothers me and and, and Juan mm -hmm. played by David Oakes yeah. and. Um, so there's a lot more of that and and also the relationship between Cesare and Lucrezia um, gets a bit deeper. What do you mean by deeper? You have to watch. <laughs> watch and find yeah. out. All right. Can you give us any spoilers or anything? Uh, yeah. What can, what can I say? Uh, Info. I must <laughs> kill about 20 people in, this, in the second season. Oh, that's pretty cool. What's the coolest way you killed someone? Uh, a knife to the heart? I don't know. I'd say that's, that that's pretty bad. Is that all right? Yeah. Po poisoning, knife to the heart. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's it. Sounds good. Pretty average ways to kill. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a big, there's a big horse race, a bareback horse race in the first episode of season two. And, you know, I, I, I I'd never... <laughs> I, I wasn't a writer before I started doing the Borges. I can't say that I am now, but I really enjoy it and I get better and better at it. Yes. Uh, David Oakes, who plays my brother, is a really good horse rider. Mm -hmm. uh, so he obviously like does all of his stunts all the time. Uh, this season I wanted to do more and they let me do all of the bareback race. And, uh, and, and it was, it, I mean, the first day was amazing. I just couldn't believe that it was happening. Uh, but the second day, I just got back on the horse and just as he started like walking really slowly, I was like, it hurt so bad. I was like, oh, I cannot, sore? <laughs> yeah, I cannot do this again. Like I'm gonna kill myself or somebody else. So I just, I just got back off the horse. The stunts, the stuntsman uh, came to me and said, like, you did really well yesterday. You have to complete the scene. Like it would be ridiculous to have a stuntsman do it for you. And so I just like I just popped a couple of Advils, yeah, Advil. ice maybe, ice yeah. with like cold cream, and went back on the horse and we did it. And it's oh, yeah, on. yeah, good for you. Uh, it, it's quite a good scene, I think. I bet it's really yeah. amazing. What other kind of stuff do you do in Budapest? I mean, do you get out and about a lot, or are you filming most of the time? Uh, I work a lot. I work uh, most of the days, but um, but I mean, there are love like great restaurants and great museums. The city itself is like a. It's like a museum. You can just walk around. It's beautiful. Uh, yeah. So, but like mostly, I just show the Borgias and I rehearse like um, horse riding and, and sword fighting. Mm -hmm. uh, and and, and like yeah, yeah, yeah. Adventurous times over there. Yeah, I have. Uh, uh, I work with uh, the the, the, uh, the first season. I worked with a monkey a little bit, so I had to like rehearse, get to know the monkey. <laughs> Oh. What does it, getting to know a monkey entail? <laughs> I can't tell. So. <laughs> you don't know still. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But the monkey you were. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, actually, I think he hates me. <laughs> yeah, he keeps biting me. Like I, I thought we kind of bonded the first season when I saw him again. I was, like, hey, Maximus. He just bit my finger. Maximus is crabby. So you know why? Uh, <laughs> they named him Maximus because when he was born, they thought he had enormous genitals. That's that is that. hilarious. That, please don't use that bit. <laughs> so, Francois, you are French Canadian, yes. and now you're living here in Los Angeles. I kind of go back and forth between Montreal and here. Okay, yeah. so what are the biggest differences? Oh, yeah, there's so many. <laughs> I know. Uh, first of all, the driving and the weather. The weather. Well, yeah. And, uh, and the driving. Montreal is really cool because you can just walk around and, and, you know, find a neighborhood that you like, go to a little cafe, find a restaurant, a bar, m meet up with friends easily. I've, it, 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 it can feel a bit lonely in California. Well, everything's so spread out in Los yeah. Angeles, you know? It's like. But I like it. I really like it. I like it more and more every, each time I come. Mm -hmm. uh, 
And the weather definitely is the plus, yes? It's very helpful. It's very helpful, yes. Yeah. Very nice place to be. So how often do you get home? You said you split your time. Well, I, I, I kind of spent a lot of time in Budapest as well. That's so been half the year there, right? You're in Budapest. Yeah. I went back home to Montreal for Christmas for like a month, and then I headed down here. Great. All right, great. Well, I'm very excited to see season two, which once again premieres April 8th. So definitely check it out on Showtime. Thank you so much for coming today. Thank you, yeah. starsentertainment.com. Mm -hmm. Check it out.